very good morning to all my students of uh, Anita Chon's English Grammar YouTube channel. I have a good news for all my students who are preparing for their IELTS. From today onwards, I will be bringing to you some very important videos which will help you to score good in your IELTS speaking test. Many times it is seen that students who are able to score good in their reading, writing, listening face some problems in speaking. Now let us first of all let us understand what is IELTS speaking all about. Now the duration of the uh, IELTS speaking test would uh, be from 14 to 17 minutes. So in this 14 to 17 minutes you have to prove that you are good in English. You are as good as you are in your local language or your mother tongue. Now this IELTS speaking will be divided into three parts. Part one will be introduction. Now what is introduction and what all topics are uh, going to be asked, I will be telling you in this segment. The second part is cue card and the third will be follow-up questions. All these three will take hardly 14 to 17 minutes. Yeah, sometimes it may differ. It depends upon your answers, right? But the normal duration is 14 to 17 minutes. Now, I will be concentrating on the first part. The first part that is introduction. Now, it is not like uh, the introduction that you used to give during your uh, job interviews. Because in job interviews, uh, the questions that were asked were very limited. You know, maybe they might ask you something about your qualification or uh, your family background, your strengths, your weaknesses, why should we hire you and stuff like that. But in IELTS speaking, the first part itself has more than 40 questions, 40 topics. And each topic, each topic will have six to seven questions. Now, what are these 40 topics? What are the six to seven questions in each topic? And how are they to be answered? That is what I'm going to teach you in this IELTS speaking test. Now, before we begin this test, let me tell you something about the do's and don'ts of IELTS speaking. The first don't, I will start with the don'ts. The first don'ts in the IELTS speaking is you will never answer in short. You will never answer in short. Each answer has to be of minimum two sentences. I will teach you how. Because if you answer in short, it might give them a wrong impression. The first impression is that you don't know the language properly. You are not proficient in the language. And secondly, you are not interested. Both of these are wrong, right? You are definitely good in your speaking because after this uh, practice, we are going to be fluent in English. And secondly, we are definitely interested in talking because we want eight bands. Okay, so you will never answer in short. The second don't, you will never answer in negatives. Even if you have to answer in negative, you have to give it a positive touch. This is what I'm going to teach you. Okay. There are many other do's and don'ts which I'm going to take in this part. But these are the two which you have to remember. Never answer in short and never answer in the negative. Right. So let us begin. INT speaking part one. Topic one. The name of the topic is name. Question number one, what is your name? Now, for example, if in normal circumstances, if somebody asks you, what's your name? So you are going to say, my name is Anita John. But now we have to remember that we, this is not a normal interview. This is interview of IELTS, wherein you cannot answer in short. So what is your name? My first name is Anita. Middle name is Harold and my family name is John. But ma'am, you may address me by my first name, Anita. Who gave you your name? I belong to the Christian community. And in our community, the names of newborn babies are given by the godparents. In my case, 
my grandmother was my godmother and so she was the one who gave me my name who usually names babies in your country india is a diverse country and people of different religion live here each religion has its own tradition of naming babies for instance in the hindu community babies are named by their paternal aunt do you have any special tradition about naming babies or naming children as i said earlier ma'am india is a land of different religion and culture and all religions follow different traditions for naming babies like in the hindus babies are named by their paternal aunts on the 6th day of their birth in a small religious ceremony attended by friends and relatives does your name have any particular meaning no my name does not have any particular meaning but i guess my grandmother must have liked this name as it is a common name in our community do you like your name though my name is un- though my name is common sorry and it does not have any special meaning yes i do like my name a lot as i was very close to my grandmother and my name is her gift to me in your country do people feel that the names are very important we indians are very sensitive towards our names they are not they not only resemble our characteristics but are also considered blessings from our families our names are our identity and so they mean a lot to us would you like to change your name no i wouldn't like to change my name it's a long process and it doesn't make sense to go through all that for no reason unless somebody is a criminal and wants a whole new identity there is no point getting a new name is it easy to change your name in your country i believe that a person can change his name but i'm not sure about the process as i don't know anyone who has tried to do such a thing but i have heard that it involves a lot of paperwork and is very time consuming and my last question to you is what names are the most common in your hometown i live in gujarat and names like jignesh pavesh mukesh bhavin for boys and jigna avni asha for girls are quite common that is it that is the end of part 1 I will see you at the other side of the day where I will be bringing you the second topic of ILTS speaking part 1 thank you and have a nice day